Je suis ici avec vous well, I'm here pour today with you because I want to share this very strong conviction toujours. I've had for years now concerning the ocean. And I think that our future generations savez, and civilization will be born moi, in the oceans. You all know that for some years now, for very many years, we have two main families of explorers. Those who go to space, but those who also go to the oceans, cosmonauts, but also people who are diving into the oceans and seas. So two families of explorers. And try to understand what's going on in the ocean and preserve our resources, oceans and seas, is a real challenge at world level that we all have to fight for because we have to be convinced about the fact that the balance uh, of our planet depends upon oceans. It's really at the very heart of our life. It's the regulation of climate. It provides us with oxygen, with energies, but the ocean, which comes from 71% of the overall surface of the planet is still unknown and very vulnerable. We only know 10% of what it's all about. And in spite of this, ocean is a huge reservoir and a very invaluable reservoir where we will find the energies we need, the food and the pharmacology of the future and the biotechnologies we need for the development of what I call blue economy. But the ocean is a wonderful place for hope for our future generations because we must be able to be audacious and see what our dreams will be in the future that we can do thanks to the oceans. I think I've always been convinced that uh, the human being is very creative and that creation can be positive. But I'm also convinced about the fact that a man can destroy a lot without uh, being too catastrophic. I think that we must admit that men have changed the face of the planet. Climatic disruption, the speeding up of climate disruption, pollution due to hydrocarbons, and also uh, the industrial uh, sea, um, fishing activities, the destruction of mangroves, uh, the uh, rise of oceans and the level of the seas are, are very dramatic. Should we be over pessimistic? I would say no. We all have to embark together on the same boat and try to protect and preserve the planet for our children and for future generations. As you know, the history of mankind is very closely linked to the story of oceans and throughout centuries and throughout the world uh, the sailors have been uh, going from one continent to another so as to explore new areas and uh, go to new countries and new territories. Only a hundred years ago, and that's not a lot at the scale of human history, men and explorers have discovered new worlds, that is to say the underground world of the seas. Jules Verne, the famous author, wrote this wonderful book, 20,000 uh, Miles Under the Sea, with his wonderful vessel, the Nautilus, which was a submarine. Jacques But 50 Yves years, Jacques-Yves Cousteau, as other explorers going to space, he went down to the seas and he started building the first houses in the sea. And the Calypso was the first mythic vessel. I would like to build the new houses or dwellings under the seas, the new vessels which will symbolize what we want to do as explorers of the sea and the oceans. This is what it will look like. For more than 30 years now, and I've been inspired by Leonardo da Vinci, I have been designing and creating with a whole pluridisciplinary team what I call bionic architecture, which is based on biomimetism, so as to give to women and men the possibility of living in the seas, as this village you see here, which is in the sea, and that I have designed in the Virgin Islands. This is something which goes back to the 70s, and this was the very start of a series of projects that I developed 
up today. But what does it look like today? I think that today it is important for me to imagine projects that can be developed in the 30 forthcoming years. And this is why I would like to uh, be in line with what Jules Verne said. And he said, everything you can imagine can be done by other men. And this is why I thought about this project, this international city, which can go from one part to another, which moves around the oceans for 12,000 persons who are research people, 900 of, uh, square meters of length. This city will be completely autonomous with positive energy. Alors, so, having said this, you could say, well, these are dreams, but some of my dreams come true. Not only uh, do I design those dreams, that I can imagine things which come fully true, and after doing this, I try to develop our new experiences. This is Galate, which is my first submarine house. A été construit pour servir which de, pour had vivre a very specific purpose. The purpose was to live in line with the oceans, in the sea or under the sea, without any impact on the environment. Mais it's a very mobile and flexible habitat. But I wanted to imagine even more than that. We wanted to imagine another um, Uh, project, which is hippocampus, as you can see here, with huge eyes. I've lived myself in this habitat, and you can't imagine how wonderful it is to live in the sea, deep in the sea, and to be able to sleep, and to wake up being in the oceans and the sea, and just to step out of your house and start walking around in the sea. It's a third dimension. You are plunged in. It's a kind of maritime garden. So this is a real privilege, and I I felt immensely happy when I was part of a record in the United States, 60 days living in the seas. This was in 1992, and I was already uh, I was younger than what I am now, as you can see in the photographs I've just shown you. Now, why do we feel so creative? Because we feel passionately that the oceans and the seas are so interesting, like the small prince of Saint-Exupéry in his uh, book. I felt that I had to live somewhere else, and I was very lucky because I went on the Calypso where I met Jean-Yves Cousteau, and this is how I started becoming passionate for these vessels. This is a Transparent, submersible, the aquascope, which is a wonderful uh, project, which is uh, um, biomimetic, and so as to observe what's going on in the depth of the oceans and the seas. Another one of my dreams is the one you can see on this slide, migration of whales. How can we watch the migration of whales in the Atlantic? This is the aqua space vessel with a specific shell which is transparent and which enables us to observe all the whales in the oceans. And during one of these journeys in the sea, I decided that there would be what I call a sea orbital uh, project. Imagine sea un orbiter. Let's imagine a des silver des grands courants marins vessel which is flowing through the océans. oceans, in the very heart of the oceans. This is what it looks Sa like. Mission, what would be the mission of that wonderful vessel? Explore an ocean largement which is still quite unknown, so as to know how it works, et but les also educate son rôle people, individuals, and help them to understand how important this is for the planet. Sea Orbiter will enable us to stay long-lastingly in the seas, and there will be several family of explorers who will be in the seas during the day and at night time with different exits 
which enable them to go to the sea. Or the orbiter will also be provided with a scientific un platform and a communication center with a satellite, as the one you can see here with his unique. But sea orbiter will have a staff of 18 persons who will live uh, all uh, around the clock under the sea. L'objectif de Sea Orbiter, c'est donner à son aventure exploratoire une dimension planétaire pour être un symbole pour les générations futures. Pour finir, And just to conclude, je voudrais euh, vous dire qu'il like est primordial d'alerter, d'éveiller, d'éduquer, de transmettre aux jeunes les valeurs de la Blue Society. People, so la, blue so la Blue Society fera de l'océan sa principale blue, source uh, d'innovation et de progrès. Aujourd'hui, les fondements de l'architecture de la mer et de l'espace dont existent, j'en suis persuadé, ils sont donc au niveau international lui donner plus d'ampleur et de souffle. C'est la chance de créer la Fondation Jacques Rougerie, Génération Espace Mère, à l'Institut de France, qui décerne chaque année les prix d'architecture de la mer, de l'espace et surtout de la problématique de la montée du niveau des océans. Nous avons une chance incroyable cette année. 86 pays ont participé avec plus de 2400 projets d'une audace incroyable, innovant, mais extrêmement sérieux. C'est pourquoi maintenant je crois qu'il est important de faire confiance aux jeunes, ce sont eux qui nous montrent le chemin de la mer et de l'espace, le chemin des mériens. Where, how Homme we libre, have to go. toujours, tu chériras la mer, disait Baudelaire. Merci.